guys, it's Audrey, and today I'm going to be doing another Minecraft video, but this is not going to be playing on, like, a server or anything, or, or my survival series. Yes. Because right now, you can't really tell, but... Really? You had to interrupt me, Minecraft music? I'm trying to talk here! Anyway, you may not notice, but there is a new update out. It is the one point eight update yes it is finally out and i have a i have a sticky note right in front of me of a bunch of stuff that they've added in yes it is a huge update not super duper big like 1.7.2 or 1.6 i think 1.7.2 was bigger than 1.6.4 but anyway yeah 1.7.2 there was like brand new biomes and stuff um uh it said nothing about like new biomes or anything but there is new blocks and like three new mobs yes and one of them i am super duper 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 happy about you guys because you know how the bayesian canadian sometimes says i'm going hunt for wabbits or wabbit hunting or something like that well they've added in rabbits i am not joking it's crazy and they will follow you when you hold carrots but let me let me stop blabbing. Let's just get onto it, all right? Um, so what's funny is I was playing on a world and I made a brand new world and it looked kind of like this, like it had this forest. It was just funny. But anyway, oh no, there's fire! Fire! But if you look right over here, in Pocket Edition there was already these blocks. I guess you could say the Pocket Edition was kind of a sneak peek for these types of blocks. And you can also see right here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six new little blocks right here. We've got granite, we've got diorite, and andesite. Then we also have their polished versions here, which I I don't know how to craft them, but what I would guess is that you probably cook them or something like that. Um, but here's just them normally generated, right there, and like they're pretty easy to find. And there's that one again. See, you can especially find them on like this mountain. And you are a lot faster when you dash and fly. You are way faster. Look at this. And guys, there is a brand new potion as well. Um, so we'll get onto that in a second. But let me really quick show you what they look like down. We've got um, granite, diorite, and andesite. And we've got polished granite, polished diorite, and polished andesite. And they look pretty cool. I really do like them. I love this one in the po I loved this one in the pocket edition and I was really hoping that they were gonna have it on the computer uh, so I'm really really happy that they put this one in uh, well I'm glad they put all of them in but it's cool that they've added in some more blocks and especially this one I think that looks really cool now if we scroll through a little more scroll down to the bottom you may see some brand new blocks here and yes We've got a new water mob, as well as some new water blocks. We've got a sea lantern, dark prismarine. We've got prismarine bricks and prismarine. We also have red sandstone, which can be chiseled, chiseled and smooth, as well as red. Um, we have red sandstone stairs and slabs. So I'll just show you what this looks like. I'm not exactly sure where you can find it. I'm guessing maybe in the desert. Maybe we can find like red sandstone some places. I don't know. So um, there's that. We've also got the sea lantern. Now let me check something really quick. Let me go into that cave we were looking inside of. Cause I want to check. Where, where's a dark, where's a, a cave? I need, there it is. Let's go right over here and let's place one of these down. Cause it says lantern, yup. It lights everything up. That is pretty cool. So we have now a new block that illuminates places, which is the sea lantern, which you can find in the ocean biome. That's pretty cool. Um, so now we have glowstone torches and we have glowstone. We have glow. We have not glowstone torches. We have normal torches. We have redstone torches and we have sea lanterns. Pretty cool. We have dark prismarine and prismarine bricks and just normal prismarine. Those look pretty cool. I do really love that color on them. That like oceany kind of color. It's 
pretty. I really do like it. And really quick, just for fun, I might as well pull out maybe the smooth. Ooh, I want to see what the chiseled. <gasps> no way! So here's really quick what this um, stairs look like. Look what's engraved in it. The wither. That is so cool. Because you guys know that engraved in the normal sandstone, chiseled stand, sandstone is a creeper face. Look, now there's the wither in that. That is pretty awesome. I am really liking this new update a lot. And let's see, anything else? Um, yeah, that's it for those bricks. Then we have decoration blocks, which we have some pretty cool ones in here. So let me just really quick do something. Oh, one more really, 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 really awesome thing. It's not in here, is it in here? Yes, it's right here, right here. You guys see, slime block. Yes, it is just a normal slime block. You may think that. Now let me really quick show you the new potion, which is the Splash Potion of Leaping, also known as it gives you jump boost. But I really super duper love, absolutely love the color. It's amazing. And you can make it by putting a rabbit's foot in, probably with an awkward potion, but I don't know. I just see the rabbit foot right there. See, so you drink, this is the um, jumping, like the leap um, jump boost too. You jump. Woo! You go pretty high. But look, let me grab some milk. Uh, it's in here. And let's turn down the volume a little. All right, so now I don't have the jump boost on. Look, it makes you, you can, if you hold down the space bar, which is also jumping, you start jumping on here. It's like a trampoline. But if you put that on, and you fly up really high, and you land on it, woo! You can bounce super high on it. It's super, super cool. I really love it. Now you can make trampolines, which is pretty awesome. Actually, I was doing that in my world. I would place down like that. Um, like that, and then I would just start bouncing on it. It was pretty cool, uh, but yeah. That is the new potion and the new awesome decoration blocks that I love. Yes, you can see Rabbit, Guardian, and Endermite. We'll get to those in a little bit. That was really. <laughs> then you can also see we have new fence, which is spruce, birch, jungle, dark oak, and acacia fence. Because yes, we had the normal fence up here, oak fence. Now you can make it in the other uh, wood types. So we have the birch, which is really pretty. I love it. We also have dark oak. We also have the armor stand. Yes. And as you can see, we have banners. It is a little laggy on here, but then I also want to show you guys something with the head in it a little bit. So boom, look at that. It's like a little banner. It's cool. Oh, eh, I'm stuck. Oh, no, don't No. See what I mean by lag, but that's pretty cool. I, that's, I'm, I think that's pretty cool to have banners. Maybe if we want to make a castle and like you have a certain color for your castle, that would be pretty cool. Then we also have the armor stand. Yeah, an armor stand for you to display your favorite armor pieces on. Wah and wah. And then let's get some iron. What do we need? We need iron. That stuff. Wah and wah. That is pretty awesome. I wonder if you can, oh my gosh. Dude, that is creepy. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so cool. I didn't even know you could do that. Let's make it a creeper instead. No, wither skeleton. Cause I just found out and I just realized that wither skeletons should be my second favorite cause they are pretty awesome. And then I think wabbits. Yes, I know I'm calling them wabbits, but still. Rabbits, I'm gonna call them wabbits though. Wabbits, I think, are my first favorite. I think wither skeletons are gonna be somewhere in there. I don't know where. But endermites are pretty awesome. Let's just grab those for later. So definitely keep watching the video if you want to see what they look like. Let's put wither skeleton. Boom. Then let's let's get another one because I want to wear an enders um uh, a wither skeleton skull. All right. So you see this. You know how you have two layers? Well, now you have an extra layer for like when you're making skins. 
Hold on, slash time set zero. No, zero, there. So, you know how I have my bangs that go in front of my face? Yeah, it's because, and that sometimes does happen in real life. That's why I put it like that. Well, you know how your bangs would be in the way? Like, for example, like the withers, the bangs would be over the skull? Well, now look. It goes, it's like a second layer over that first layer. Boom. Now it doesn't interfere. It's pretty cool. I just can't wait till they up, um, update on the skin deck so you can have a second layer. Because there's a whole nother layer that goes over all this. All of your body. It's pretty awesome. It's not just your head anymore. So I am super excited about when they update on the skin deck. So I can start making my skins on there with a second layer over everything. I'm going to be so excited for that. I got my birth to come out. Sorry, that was weird. Anyway, let's see. What else is there? Let me cross off some stuff on here. What? What? Nah. Oh, there's another block I want to show you guys that I completely forgot to show you. We have Chorus Dirt. See, this is dirt that grass does not grow on. So, just for fun, I guess if you want some dirt that doesn't get grass on top of it, this would be the stuff for you. It even ha it looks a little different than normal dirt. Let me show you. See, there it is. It has, it a, seems, a, see, it looks a little darker. Maybe because it's a little more dry. But it's cool. I I like it. All right, and then we also let's see. Oh yes, let me get out a sheep spawner, and let me get out a diamond sword. Yes, I know it's diamond. I don't know why. Look, so you know how it usually drops wool, one piece of wool when you kill it, and now drops meat, raw mutton. Yes, and it is as good as steak. So, now, like in Auto Survival Series, he couldn't find any food, but he had sheep near him. If he would have killed those sheep's, um, sheep in 1.8, he would have gotten food. So, that's pretty awesome. I'm glad they um, added that in. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Now, remember how I was saying the fence have different um, wood colors and now wood types and look like them? Well, now, that is the same with doors now let me see where are the doors right in here we have the oak and iron but then we have spruce we have birch which looks cool we have jungle acacia and then my very favorite dark oak i like dark oak wood in general and i also love birch which these two are actually my two favorite doors as well look at that it looks like a chocolate door and it has gold on the sides look at that look at that it's so cool then we also have the acacia, which is a really cool, like, see-through door. Then we also have the jungle door, which looks pretty awesome. We have the spruce, which looks like a cell door. That's pretty cool. Then we have the birch, which looks really awesome. I am really loving these. We also have it for uh, fence gates as well. And we also have an iron trap door. So it's not like one of those normal wooden doors or wooden trap doors where you just right click it and it opens. You also need a button to open it. And yes, I know I just placed it on the ground, right? You can now place it on the ground and on the ceiling. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? Um, we also have villagers where, let me really quick, let's see, I need a hoe. No, they do not plant, well, in a way. I'll show you guys. I need seeds, I need bone meal, and I need a villager spawn egg. We're gonna get to these last, okay? So, let me grab out water really quick, just because. All right, and then we'll hoe down right there. Then we'll plant these seeds. We'll spawn a villager. So now there's a fully grown. He should destroy those and replant them. I bet it only works in a village, but that would be pretty cool if it worked when the villagers, um, like if you had a villager near you and they took care of your garden, that would be pretty awesome. But it said that the villagers now replant crops when they are full grown. 
You like this cell door? It doesn't really lead to anywhere. You could have just gone around it, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, they now replant these and um, destroy them. I guess, I don't know how they collect them. Maybe, no. Weaponsmith? What? And you already get two options. Weaponsmith? Hmm. Let me get out the villager spawn egg again. Let's see. Farmer. Toolsmith. So they now have different types. See? This is like a weaponsmith. So you'll know that that one will give you weapons. And this one's a tool, so it will give you tools. This is a fisherman, so it will give you fish. This is a cleric, which I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> Weapon. That's pretty cool. We have another farmer. We have a leather worker. And we have an armorer, so he'll give you armor. And another cleric. And a librarian. That is pretty awesome. Wow. That's a lot of villagers. Anyway, that's pretty awesome. So now, also besides villages and village, did you just see that? Did you just see that? Did you just see that? He just destroyed that and replanted both of them. I told you. <laughs> just in case you were doubting me. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. So yes, you can have villagers work for you now. I don't know where the wheat is gonna go, but he'll just keep replanting them. That is pretty awesome. Besides villages, let's get back to that. Besides villagers, villages and temples are now a little different. I was going to try and look for a village. I'll look for it in that plains in a little bit, but now they are different. I don't know how different. Um, I don't know how, but we'll have to look for one. But besides that, let's look. Okay, let me cross out something really quick. Let's check out something brand new so you know how you sometimes have like that spectator mode i'm putting quotes like quote things right now with my hands you know how you can go into spectator mode in a lot of like mini games like um like in there's a game on the hive where you can go into spectator mode if you die and it's where you go invisible and it's kind of where you like you go in f1 like that well now that's actually a game mode. It is called game mode three. So I'm going to go into game mode three right now. We go slash. Hey Audrey. What? When you go into game mode three and then you punch a, a mob, then you turn into it. I know, that's pretty cool. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay. Let's go to game mode three and boom. Now you are pretty much in F1 as well in spectator mode. Um, yeah, and you cannot get out of flying. So, you see, now, like Otto was saying, let's try, can we do, see, this is a villager's perspective. It's pretty cool. And to get out of it, you just press shift. We were just inside of that villager. Yes, that is pretty awesome. Let's try out a few mobs. Let's try out this cow right here. And then I want to spawn a few different mobs. This is a cow's perspective. Audrey, the spiders are really, really cool. Yeah, let's check out a few more. All right, so let's go into... Okay, slash game mode one. And now let's spawn a few things. Let's spawn an Enderman, a Pigman, a Spider, and let's try a Creeper. No! Get back here! And then maybe we can try out these as well. But first, let's, yeah, let's do that. And then I want to see if I can find an ocean. Because there's a special generation there now, as well as the new mob, the Guardian. All right, so let's check these out. Um, we're going to need to go inside. Let's do slash time set one four zero 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 zero. Time set one four zero zero zero. There we go. And now let's grab some lanterns. Go through your little doors to the to your invisible rooms. What? Darn it, why did I do that? Let's go down. Let's just grab some sea lanterns. Let's place that down. Let's let's help protect the villagers a little. Alright, so let's try it out right here. Let's place down let's do the Enderman in really quick before he teleports away. 
Let's put, sp spawn up a bunch of them. Let's go into game mode three. This is an Enderman's perspective. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, so that is an Enderman's perspective. It's like everything is kind of like, how do I explain it? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's pretty cool. Then let's go back to game mode one. Yes, I know, we hear you. Gosh. Sorry, Enderwoman, if you're watching this. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hitch your siblings, I guess is what I'll call them. <laughs> and then we have a pigman. We have a spider and a creeper. All right, slash game mode three. Let's go into a spider. This is a spider's perspective of the Minecraft world. Don't die, don't die, or I'm gonna die. No, shift, shift. And now, let's see, where's that zombie? There he is. This is a zombie pigman's perspective. That's pretty cool. It's pretty much the normal perspective, um, which is cool to know. And then we finally have the creeper, which everything is green to him. It's pretty cool. It's like, it's like he has night vision on. Like, it's more real though. So that is the pretty awesome fact about the game mode three. Oh no, no, no. We gotta save him. We gotta save him. Bring out a diamond sword. Ah, kill this zombie. No, 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 no. He killed the villager. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you poor villagers for the loss you just had. I'm very, I'm very sorry. Here, I'm gonna place a bunch of lanterns to help keep you guys a little safe. So they don't spawn kinda near you, so. There, I'm helping you. You should say thank you, you know. Now, I think it is time to check out the new mobs. Yes, it is. All right, let's go out into the plains. Let's go. Ah! What? <laughs> well, we are very lucky. We have a village near us. Let's really quick check that out. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to notice anything different about the villages. But, wow, we have a village near us. That's pretty cool. What luck. Anyway, I don't think there's a whole lot different. Yeah, there's the normal house. Well... Oh, well, I guess I didn't know that they put cobblestone. I bet this is new. They have cobblestone under the gravel so that the gravel doesn't fall into caves like that. But I guess that's just how it spawns. And then what else do we have? Are the wells deeper? Actually, I think the wells are a little shorter or smaller now. Let's see. What else is there? Sorry. I destroyed your path. No, nothing new in there. Let's see. Yeah, I think besides those, the cobblestone under the path, I think that it's just the villagers now take care of their crops. They need to take care of that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's funny that we had a village right next to us too. All right, now it is time to check out the mobs. We're gonna go to. We're gonna do the rabbit last. But let's start with the Endermite, which is kind of, a, it's pretty adorable. There it is. It's like a silverfish. So let's take a look at it. It's cute. I like it. It's a little bit glitchy, as you can tell. Um, let's get a silverfish spawner. Really quick. No, that's a skeleton. That's a gas. Silverfish. See? They both move the same kind of way, and they both have the same noises. But I think it's cute. I want, I don't know where it spawns. Maybe it spawns in the end. That would be a cool new end mob. But let's see. It doesn't drop anything yet. Uh, but I bet it will very soon. Uh, so we're probably not going to find an ocean. But if I sometime do, I will definitely want to show you guys. Um... But let's get on to the others. Let's get rid of the Endermite. Um, there's now an ocean monument that you can find in the oceans is what I've been trying to tell you guys. Um, all right, let's go on to the Guardian, which you can find in the 
um, ocean monument. And actually, I think a few of you guys were telling me about this. The new water mob. That is it. It's creepy. Look at it. It's like a puffer fish, um, fish, uh, puffer fish, um, I don't know, cyclops. A puffer fish cyclops. It's scary. And it does drop, um, new things. So, let's kill it. It seems like a kind of tough mob. It, it does drop fish. Let's find another. Because I want to get it to drop the thing. They also drop prismarine shards which you can probably if you get enough you can probably make a block of it and let's try there's one more thing will you drop it no there i just gotta i i like the noises that they make like the flopping noise like come here no still no come on drop your thing I forgot what it's called, so please drop it. You drop nothing? Are you kidding me? No, still no. Well, they do drop one more thing. Come on, will you drop it this time? There it is. We got it. Prismarine crystals, which I don't know what you use it for. But that's pretty cool. I guess it's a kind of rare drop because I had to kill like five of those. I'm sorry, Silverfish. You had to die. But that's pretty cool. So we've got a whole nother mob. But we have one last thing, which I think is the best thing out of this whole update. Will you guys stop? Gosh. The rabbit. All right. Let's spawn it in. Look at that. Look at how adorable that is. Now let me really quick get some carrots. Come here. There you go. Yeah, and it will follow you, but you can sadly not tame them. And we've got a bunch of different variations of them. We have, oh, it's a baby. We have albino ones. Uh, I think that's actually a special type of rabbit that looks like albino, but there is albino bunnies. We have black ones. We have like this type of one right here which has like a beige top and stuff like that, and as well as that one. We have a bunch of different types. Uh, I'm not sure if I've spawned all of them. I think I've spawned all of them now. But they're, oh, nope, there's that one, which is a sandy color. I like that one. I guess that one's maybe a kind of rare one. I don't know, but they're cute. I really like them, and you can breed them too. Oh, gosh! Yes, hello. Ah, just give you a bunch of carrots. And then look. And suddenly there's a bunch of little baby rabbits. Look at them. They're adorable. Now really quick, let me go into, let me actually grab the, let's grab the guardian and let's grab the endermite. I want to see what it's, their perspectives are like. We got to spawn a bunch of these. All right, slash game mode three. Let's go into the guardian's perspective first. Come here, come here, come here. This is the guardian's perspective. Then we also have the bunnies, in it, which is normal. And then finally we have the endermites. This is the endermites. It's like being an ant in Crazy Craft. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it for, wait, let me get out of game mode three really quick. Oh, one last thing in game mode three, actually. See, look, F5, you can just barely see your head. It's pretty cool. It's not like totally being invisible, but you're still invisible. To other players, at least. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this new 1.8 update. I am super excited for all the servers to update, and there will probably be new stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I did not name every single thing that was in the new update. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this new update and video as well. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye-bye!